Hi, I am Alexandra Barker. There are many ways to access data from the Census Bureau, but in this Data Jam, I will show you where to find and how to download the complete 2020 redistricting data files from the 2020 Census for your state using the Census Bureau File Transfer Protocol site, or FTP for short. This is a great resource if you're looking to download large files to use with software such as Microsoft Access, SAS, SQL, SQLite, ArcGIS, Tableau, Oracle, R, and more. I will also share with you some of the critical resources that will help you successfully work with this data. So let me take you through the steps to locate and download these files. To locate the 2020 Census redistricting data files for download, along with the documentation that will help you successfully use this data, you can click on the link available in the description of this video or visit census.gov and use the search bar to search for redistricting data PL94171 and click search. Let's use your first search result. Now you are at the decennial census PL94171 redistricting data page. On this page is where you find the redistricting data files for download for the 2020 census, the 2010 census, and also the 2000 census. To locate the files for download, you scroll down and find the legacy format summary files hyperlink. Through this link, you will be able to access redistricting data tables for each state down to the block level. So let's click on the Legacy Format Summary Files link. Here at the FTP site, you'll find the folder for the redistricting file PL94171. You just have to open this folder and you see all the files for each state. They are ready for you to click and download. Next, we provide you with several resources that are critical for your success using this data. First, let's review the technical documentation. Click on the 2020 Census State Redistricting PL94171 Summary File Technical Documentation link to open the PDF document. This document includes every information you would need to know in order to successfully use the redistricting files. I want to highlight two major areas that I use very often. One is Chapter 4, Summary Level, basically Geography. In Chapter 4, you'll find a complete list of all the geographies that you can use to access restricting data. As you can see, every geography or summary level has a code associated with it. With this resource, when you extract the files, you can use this code to indicate which geography you wanted the data for. For example, if you are looking to access data for the track level, all you have to do here is identify the code for tracks. In this case, it would be 140. And the data that you'll be extracting will be for census track for the state you selected. Next, let's take a look at Chapter 6, the Data Dictionary. I'll highlight the Table Matrix section. This is very important because it gives you the metadata for the data you're about to extract. Once you extract the data, you notice that every column is labeled with a code. Here is where you see the metadata for each code. So when you look at data for column P001004, you know it's about Black or African American alone. Let's go back to the main page. Now, under Legacy Format Support Materials, you can access the header records. Let me show you what this is all about. This document gives you the definitions of all abbreviations and codes that are included in the data file. For instance, in regards to the geo headers, if you have a column called sum lav, you know it means summary level. Another important part of the metadata is to know what the topics are within each table. So click on the tab for segment 1, which corresponds to file 1. So when you open your data, like I mentioned earlier, looking at the technical documentation, the label of each column is a code. 
On this tab, you'll be able to see the metadata for that column. Next, we have the frequently used geographic summary level codes. We created this document to make it easier for you to work with census geography. Here you see the most used summary levels or geographies for accessing redistricting data. Next, we have the Microsoft Access database shell that you can download and use to extract the files. We already set up a few queries for you to facilitate your process in extracting the data. And we prepared a guide for you on how to use the Microsoft Access database shell. Next, if you're using SAS as your statistical software, you can import the scripts. And if you're using R, we also have the scripts here for you. Regarding geography products, if you like to create maps using this data, here's where you go to download your shape files. I hope these resources will help you find and use the 2020 Census Redistricting Data successfully. For more videos like this, visit Census Academy and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.